Hopefully this time things won't be blowing up quite so much. Welcome back to Sunless Sea. Well hello everyone. We had a rather interesting last episode and I hope this, this one's not going to be nearly as much fun. But we got a bit of money so I want to spend that before we start going. And uh, we'll see where we go with it. So let's have a quick look at... Uh, let's see what new recruits we have out there. We have a tireless mechanic, which we don't need, and a first officer, who we don't need. So, okay, I think we've done these already, to be honest with you. Um, I think, let's have a quick look in our hold. Um, we have some colonists. We don't actually have much of interest. We've sold all that uh, we possibly can. And so what I think we're going to do here is... Let's, uh, have a quick look at the map here. The first thing I want to do is load up with um, as much goods as possible, pop up to Vendabytes, and we'll, what we'll do there is we shall sell off, make a bit more money, come back to Fallen London, spend that as upgrades as soon as possible, and then if you uh, follow the map here, that's uh, Flitterstone Island, Field Haven, Wolf's Riff there is a port that we didn't visit so I want to pop out there and see what that port is looks like and hopefully we'll get all that done in half an hour so without further ado let's get this sorted out first thing we want to do is pop into London and pick up some mushroom wine we'll pick up as much as we can carry because that'll make us a bit extra money and with that in a hold Let's get out of here. Now, it's inc it's important to me that we get our terror down as low as possible, so rather than just cutting straight across the bay as I normally would, I'm going to follow the line of the coast. It's going to take a little bit longer, but um, hopefully we're going to get do this journey without picking up too much in the way of terror, because for once it's below 50, and I'd like to get it down as low as possible before we start going out into the deep. Black Z. Uh, there we go. And this is the point where I realise I've done something incredibly stupid. Let's head back to port. Let's turn that off so we got a decent turning radius. I didn't buy any fuel, did I? Oh dear. Now, admittedly, we got a bit of food, so that wouldn't necessarily have been a problem. But I don't actually want to have to use all of that fuel just to get up, all that food just to get up to where we're going. So let's just pop back into London quickly and fuel up. Gosh, that was incredibly clever of me, wasn't it? Still, I think we'll make it. Just speed that up a little bit so we're not spending all of our time doing that. Right, so short text messages from the harbour master. Might as well. Somebody wants to sign on. Okay, nothing else has really changed there. So shops, shops. Thank you very much. No, look that seaside provisioners. There we go. Fuel. How much fuel have we got? Um, This is a bit of a problem, actually. I think I know what I do here. So let's sell this off. So that's given us another 70 echo. And back to the shops. I'm glad I kept that now. Seaside provisioners. So we'll buy fuel till we run out of space. There we go. And that's actually our cargo hold almost full. At least it's eight fuel, which is more than enough to get up and back again, I believe. So here we go again. Mm. One of the things I do want is to pick up a doctor. I mean, I know we have two vacant uh, spaces on the crew manifest here. Um, but that doctor is not particularly good. The starting characters never are for some reason. Well, it's fairly obvious why. 
So if we can get him replaced, that will give us more hearts, that allows us to deal with Terra better. Um, and many, many, many different things, which is always a good sign. Oh yes, I've also been asked if I could replace Squeakers with a cat. And we know where to get the cat. But the question here is, do we want to get rid of Squeakers? Would you guys let me know in the comments, please, if you have an opinion one way or the other? So far, it's one for replacing Squeakers. You just discovered Prick Fingers Race. Ooh. Actually, let's, let's fight him while we're at it. There we go. The Pirate Steam Penis. Okay, so we'll chuck up a couple of illuminations and we'll do one of those. Let's see how we get with that. Now that definitely will give us over a hundred. If we're lucky, this will give us over a hundred. No, it won't. Okay, so we'll do it like that. Yes, we're hardly taking any damage from their attack, so it doesn't really matter. Right, bang, and they're gone. And we've got plenty of crew, so we will send them back. Send it home with the Cry's crew. We were fortunate, so good. That's a bit of money we'll get when we get back to uh, port, which is great. Just took a slight bit of damage there before the fight. Unfortunately, because I wasn't looking where I was going, I was reading the uh, the message that popped up on the side there. So we've discovered prick finger wastes, which is uh, interesting. Oh, we're too far away from the coast. Let's get closer to the coast. There we go. It's very important to me that we don't pick up Terra. We've already picked up a couple of points so far on this journey and I want to keep it down as low as possible. Ah, here come the bats. A Zayla is praying. Alright. Into the pot with you, my guys. Into the pot with you. Another quick um, question session on the. Uh, uh, okay, gather up the corpses into the pots. There we go. All right. Normally, this is the uh, the. Uh, Let's play where I ask people what they think about the current series of Doctor Who. So I shall ask now, what do you guys think of the current series of Doctor Who? We're on, what, episode three now? Um, I do confess that I'm not hugely enjoying it, but it's not necessarily that bad. Um, I'm kind of of the opinion that I wish that uh, Stephen Moffat could write a different sort of companion for a change. Because, quite frankly, I'm slightly getting a little bit bored of the spunky, feisty female who's actually smarter and more in touch with the universe than the 2,000-year-old super genius from another planet. But that's just me. What do you guys think? I do, to be honest with you, think that the new Doctor is excellent. Um, the stories have been so-so. But this tends to be the case with Doctor Who. I'm certain it will pick up a bit um, as the episodes uh, progress. So we'll see how we go with that. And here we are, nearly in Vendabytes. Uh, we might be visited by those bats. No, we're not going to be visited by those bats. How much terror have we picked up? So we picked up two points of terror during that journey, unfortunately. That's not necessarily about bad. So here, what we shall do is we shall sell off those tomb colonists, that mushroom wine, um, pick up a port report, and see if there's anything to investigate. And then we shall head back to home. So we'll sell all that. And 
we should sell off I suppose we could sell off the recent news but I want to keep hold of that I've just got the one uh, but we can sell off these three tomb colonists so that's put our money firmly over 300 which is not bad and we'll pop into Vendabite we'll gather some gossip Along the coast of the Untersea, it is remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists and settle here in bandaged peace. So we now have a port for bought. And I suppose we could do the dusty glass of wine. I, no, I don't want to spend a hundred echo. Um, but we can explore Vendabite. Let's see what we get. Uh, we've done this one before. Uh, this one is the Carmine Chapel. A little chapel stands alone. You poke your head through the door. The walls are a ruby red, just this side of scarlet. A ruby tinted window at the back glows with steady light. An electric lamp behind the glass, rare and expensive. But there is no. There, but this is no gaslight. No one is here, and yet you have the sensation that only a moment ago someone must have been. So we can leave, we can make an offering, because we're not unaccountably peckish, but we can't leave, make an offering with half familiar rights, because we aren't unaccountably peckish. Or oh, we can search the place, which is a straightforward challenge, which gives us a 100% chance of success. Hmm. Let's search the place. So we gained one terror. Okay. And hungered. There is an altar, a block of basalt, there are pews, a pulpit, no Bibles, no hymn books. The stained glass window is the red of Cognion. An inscription on the lintel of the door gives me, For I was an hungered, and ye gave me meat. That is all. Okay, so we picked up some fragments in that and gained some terror. Um, next time, guys, remind me. I want to try leaving an offering and see what happens. So that's all we can do. Let's head back. To London and we'll stock up a little bit and then we'll do a little bit of exploring uh, before we uh, we end this episode and we'll hopefully see someone new and hopefully get a bit of story so that's not bad we what are we standing at now we've got about where can I see on this page? I can't see on this page, can I? A quick look in the inventory. In the hold. Um, there we go, we've got 327 echoes. We've got another 55 waiting for us back in base, so that's nearly 400. So we'll use that to buy some fuel, and then we don't need to buy food, thanks to these guys. Now we'll have a quick look and see what we can upgrade. Might be nothing. In which case, uh, we'll save the money for another day. And I think this is what I'm going to do from now on. Is I'm going to um, do a little bit of uh, um, scumming the trade routes, if we're in a position to do so. Just to pick up a bit of money. And then I'll, I'll give you the highlights of that. And let's slightly reduce terror. That's good. And then what I'll do is I'll carry on with the story. So you guys will see the highlights, any you know um, big fights, not bats, but big fights. And then we'll carry on and play the game properly. Because these guys are boring. But at least they're fairly easily disposed, and I think, to be totally honest, with a little bit of food, this might actually be a fairly good way of reducing terror. Because if this, each one of these fights is going to reduce terror by one or two points, and some fights, I've, some journeys to Vendermite, I've been attacked four or five times, that would actually get our terror down a lot. So we're now down to 44, which is where we started. Which is not bad in the slightest. Fuel is going to be very tight. But I think we'll make it. Just angle slightly away from there so we don't hit the rocks. And 
let's get our terror down a little bit more. This is still 44. Actually, I, it's one thing I'm interested in. How many people have this game? It'd be interesting to see who else is playing it. There we go. They've been defeated. So if you do have this game and you are playing it, please leave a comment um, below because uh, I'd love to see who is playing this game and perhaps we can talk about various experiences and things like that. Please no spoilers, but if you think I'm doing something particularly stupid, do shout out. Let's face it, they're going to be quiet. I mean, it's not like I ever do anything incredibly stupid while playing a computer game now, is it? Uh, yeah, back we go. Nearly back to London. That fuel is just going to stretch by the looks of it. And then we'll have a quick run through London, have a look and see if there's any new um, recruits to pick up, get our Zaylas back, and get some money. Have a quick look at the... Uh, the upgrades, see if there's anything fun we can pick up after buying food. Oh, here comes a little bit more terror reduction. So I think I might actually make those go into the pot, let's see. And in case anyone wonders, yes I did stop to let them catch up with us. Didn't actually need that second illumination by the looks of it, but never mind. Just chuck another one of those in just in case. Oh, reduces illumination. Interesting. Alright, part terror, part terror, part. We've done a lot of terror. And our terror is now down to 42. Oh, what the heck. Let's have those guys as well. Let's see if we can get our terror down to 40. Okay. 37. No, we're going to need that second illumination. Never mind. do them that has indeed done them so this one can go to reduce terror there we go so that's now 40 excellent I think this is the first time I've ever ended a journey with a lower terror than I started um, the last journey I ended with considerably high terror and to be honest with you an awful lot more confusion not a good combination Boing. Oh, another fight. Didn't even see them coming. I wasn't paying attention to the slightest. Okay, let's do this quickly. That second one should do it. That's not going to harm us that much. Yeah, at one point, don't care about. Well, that's got us over 100, so let's just do a couple of those. Unless he decides to evade. Which he's not going to have time to do now. This might sink him. Yeah, it did indeed sink him. Okay. Let's send her home with the prize crew. Good. That's another 50 waiting for us when we get into port. All told, a very successful journey. Okay. Oh, it's almost scraped my boat on there. Not particularly interested in fighting a Megalops. They're not much use to me. I don't think it will enter the port after us. No, it won't. So. There's our little uh, journey over. We've made quite a large chunk of money out of that. I'm quite happy with that, to be totally honest with you. A restless nights. Let's see what that has to say.
In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep, desperately. Another. We can ignore them, or we can inquire about their dreams. We have a 33% chance of seeing that. And to be totally honest with you, I'm kind of curious. So let's do that. Eyes and a face. The whole neath lit up like a snuffer mask. There's something in the roof, Captain. It is the roof. It's watching us. Eyes and a face. Eyes and a face. You have him subdued. No discipline this time, but you require your first officer to keep an eye on him. So we gained ten fragments, and we gained one terror. We failed the challenge, but never mind. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest with you. Okay. Right, so let's collect messages. Somebody wants to sign on. Nothing new. Continue. Right. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Let's do the Admiralty first. Submit our port reports. Fairly standard stuff. I am not going to bother reading it. Um, and unchanged at five. Um... Have we done this one? I'm not entirely certain. Let's find out. Uh, so the Admiral's desires. We have done this. Visit a port. We'll be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest. Okay, that's nothing interesting. Um, right, we're done there. Let's see. Oh, actually, let's pirate return back to our lodging. So let's pick up some prize money. So the victors of the spoils, we have gained 100 echo. We got a crew back to seven. I'm, I'm getting rather concerned that we can't rest here anymore. And that happened after the crash. So I'm starting to wonder perhaps that something's gone wrong. So hmm, we'll see with that. Townhouse, townhouse, townhouse. Write a will, we need a townhouse. Heirloom, Song of Z. Proceeding uh, retiring. We can't, doesn't seem to want to give us the ability to buy a townhouse anymore either. I'm actually getting rather worried about that, so that might be a problem with this character, but we'll see. Okay, but still, we've got another 100 Echoes. We're up to 437. Let's have a quick look and see if there's anything we want to buy for our ship. Um, the next ship up is... Actually, that's the ship we've got already, I think. So, yeah, it even says your current ship at the top. Um, so... A Lampad cut Cutter would actually cost us lots of money, but reduce our um, okay uh, okay. It's actually I think we would actually have to go up quite a bit before we get to a better ship. Uh, so that's actually not something we're interested in. House of Vision. Now this is something I want to buy. This equips the bridge, which I know is empty, and it gives us plus one mirrors. Uh, we can't afford the better ones just yet, but we could actually pick that one up. Um, we can't buy either of those weapons yet. Um, torpedoes would be interesting to get. Now we have a second gun on the ship. I'm not sure I want to buy those just yet. Um, actually, let's have a quick look at our ship. So we have an iron plus 10 gun there. We have an iron plus 5 gun there. So if we replace this one, we'd lose 5. And where's that torpedo? That's the torpedo. That cuts the forward. That gives iron plus five, torpedoes, tubes plus two. That may actually be a, a reasonable investment. 
and we'd hate to buy some torpedoes as well which cost us 50 apiece not necessarily a bad idea let's have a quick look at these so this one is all we've got this one equips to forward that's actually a very good one there's that gives, that gives us extra iron which would mean we do more damage and it gives us a torpedo tube interesting and this one would give us harpoons do we need to buy harpoons I'm not seeing harpoons deploy these in combat for protection against torpedoes you know I think a purchase of one of those would be a good idea but I don't want to get it just yet but I do feel that this may be interesting Let's purchase one. So now we can replace that little gun and that will give us uh, an extra five iron and one, plus one harpoons which I'm presuming is going to give us some extra attacks. Before I forget this time let's pick up some fuel. That's me picking up supplies, that was stupid. Iron 10 um, that doesn't leave us much cargo space so I think I'll stop there but still every other bat we get attacked by for a while can go to reducing terror so that's not necessarily a bad thing that's all right that's us done now before actually I never, don't think I've looked at this one recently so different engine secure storage what's the serpentine uh, fuel efficiency equips to engines engine power 1800 Oh, you can't buy one of those, okay. In fact, in fact, to be totally honest with you, there's very little here we can actually buy. Just sell. So that's not very helpful. Oh yes, and before we go, there was one other thing I wanted to buy. Which we can't now afford, so I'll pick it up next time. Okay, let's have a quick look at the map before we move on. They we're running up to 30 minutes now, but I think we can survive a quick journey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to Falling London, and I'm going to go east and then south to Mutton Island, and I'm going to east to West Greens Fire, and then northeast to Fieldhaven, and then east across that uh, divide there, which is going to raise our uh, terror a little bit to that new dock. And this is going to take us a while. And this is probably going to run into the next episode, but because all I've done is a um, a trip to Vendorbite and back this time, I'm going to extend this episode a wee bit. So, let's go. Yeah, thinking of Mutton Island, don't forget guys, if you want us to change Squeakers, and I'm only keeping Squeakers because I like him, please do let me know. And actually, while I'm thinking about that bar, do we have any secrets? We have a secret. Right, who can give us the best um, return on our secrets? So pages would be good to get, hearts would be good to get, um, but mirrors is still something I'd like to get more of. So who's going to do that? Um, oh, what's here? A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades. It's not a good omen. Right, let's try to attempt to calm them. We've got a 64% chance. The darkness in the neath is more than the absence of light. It's a physical presence which distorts the shape of the world. Your light melts the darkness, restores sanity to the world. You explain something of this to your Zalos. It's not the first time they've heard it, but they seem slightly less nervous. So we gained a fragment. Okay, not the end of the world. That's perfectly good. Let's turn in and go along the coast before our terror starts rising. And then let's fight this guy. Okay, we have new attacks. Flensing Salvo needs harpoons 
Illumination 50. So, that's a warm-up of 5 seconds. This one's a warm-up of 5 seconds. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this one differs. Harm Z monsters and crew has little effect on a hull. Interesting. Let's give this one a try. I also want to try this on a ship somewhere just to see if it will take down the crew because let's face it some of these uh, uh, um, ships are actually more vulnerable in the area of crew than they are in the area of um, hull so butcher it for supplies or dissect it for knowledge we've just eaten so let's dissect it for knowledge and get a page out of it a fragment out of it rather Ouch. Hardly worth it, but never mind. It also been a bit pointless of us to. Uh... Oh, here comes another one. Come on in. There we go. Fight. Illuminate, illuminate. Flensing salvo. It's going to be interesting to see what the torpedoes gives us as well, because quite frankly, those torpedoes are very expensive to buy, and 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 illuminate light minus five. So that wasn't actually that big a difference. So let's have another page out of that, um, another fragment out of that rather. So all told, that wasn't that great. Okay. Right, so down past two lights, and then we're going to go east for Quaker's Haven. And we'll stop in there quickly and see what it's like. Pick up a port report. Bugsby's Marshes. There's this. There's the uh, the light. So we will start heading east a bit. See if we can do it without picking up too much terror. Our terror is still 41, which is excellent as far as I'm concerned. And those those diddy little crabs, which let's face it, are not much in the way of a problem. We could just flee it. It's not going to cost us any fuel. Let's just flee it. We've fed. There we go. Let's see if it catches up with us. Oh, and here comes its buddy. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Just flee from you as well. Sorry, gang. Don't want to play. Right, Quaker's Haven. Drinks at the Cock and Magpie. For 20 Echo, we'll reduce Terra. We explore the shore, which we will do so. We can chat to the fishermen for a port report, I should imagine. And we can visit the hill top above the town. Hmm. I think we've visited the hilltop above town before. So let's chat with the fishermen quickly. That will cost us an echo, but it will get us a port report. There you go. Little ships and little secrets. Pirates plying the waves. Smugglers at their work. Carnate ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Okay. So, yeah, let's explore the shore this time. Let's go, explore. You wander a little way from the shore, from the dock. Okay. A glittering eye. You turn, and there's a long, lank, brown man at your shoulder. Listen, he says. I have a story about you. Right, we can listen to him, or we can leave, or we can turn the situation around. But we can't because we don't have a Z story. Let's see what he has to say. Ooh, five terror. His story has a wedding full of murders, and a leafless forest, and a vast serpent which eats souls. The tale winds on and on, like the serpent, until you are lost in the dizzy toils of its sinister ships and its glamorous corpses. You nod awake, he's gone, but not it seems before searching your pockets for small change. So we gain five terror, we've lost two echo, 
and we've gained the tale of terror so not a complete loss anything else we want to do we want to pick up the wretched mog I don't want to pick up the wretched mog unless you guys say I should pick up the wretched <clears throat> I could pick up the wretched mog and not use him the problem is once he's on board I lose the ability to use rats Don't know, don't know, don't know. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Put a comment in if you want me to. If you want me to. Okay. Alright. So that's it, guys. I think we're pushing 40 minutes now. So I'm gonna call it there. Next episode, we shall head east and visit that unvisited port. And then I think next episode is episode 15 so for episode 16 I want to do something a bit special it also gives you guys an entire week to decide whether or not you want me to pick up the wretched mog do let me know so I'm going to leave it there guys thank you very much I've been Simon Parsons this has been Sunless Sea thank you and good night